Hi guys, it's Prissy with Prissy's Divine Design Tarot and we are going to do a reading for Mama Moo and Love. Now, I'm not really sure who Mama Moo is, but I guess we will we'll do a reading on her and see what we come up with. The Swan Queen, we have Transformation, Intuition, and Patience. Nice. I don't know if I've seen that card before. Ooh, the dragon duel. Ha! Huh, what's this? I haven't seen this one either. Inner conflict, mortality, conscious choice. And we have number five there, number four there. What do we have here? The lady of the mirror, reflection, non-judgment, 44, which is an eight. So with the four stability, um, with a five is change, uh, conflict, can be conflict, with eight is uh, mastering your talents and gifts, let's see what's this, acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation, number seven, so, hmm, shadow queen yeah doing the shadow work that's that's not a bad thing I mean that's going over all the things you've experienced in your life and purging them by crying screaming yelling and maybe even writing it all out and then burning it just to end that pulling it along with you kind of idea the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, and con Conscious Action. So by you can create your own reality by all that right there. Just doing the selflessness, helping people, being humble about it, and having an action, a conscious action that you're going towards. And that would be to help people, right? I just got out of tea. Okay, Mama Moo, let's see what we have for you. Tell me what I need to know for Mama Moo, please. Oh, we got lots to say. Holy hell. Alright, everything is fine, eh? <laughs> ah, lovers, it's a choice. Let's see, what do we have here? So, it looks like somebody is at a crossroads. Hmm. Okay, somebody's watching the double. It could be a Capricorn. Everything is fine, which is just a bit of a show, I think, for people to say, I wasn't tempted or I didn't have anything happen to me that was toxic, but being hurt by it, maybe getting juggled, maybe getting left out in the cold. Ah, death to the situation. Getting a different perspective of maybe all the secrets, maybe those things were revealed. We have, uh, we have, looks like somebody is healing and manifesting what they truly want. So, there we have it. So, healing and manifesting. <coughs> Wow, okay, whoa, ten of pentacles at a crossroads again. Hmm. Why is the two of swords here? Okay. So this card for me is there's somebody that is involved with someone else and they have a child together. Yeah, the shady ass behavior and stabbing you in the back. You don't see what's truly going on here. With the two of swords, that can be not able to see the truth. So, I kind of feel like this page of swords is somebody that is watching. Maybe it is the woman of this person who is also with Mama Moo, who has made a choice about love and given a cup to her, 
And she's at a crossroads because I think she kind of senses something here. I'm kind of feeling that. <clears throat> and with the being a manifester, I kind of feel like she's gifted. What's the page of swords? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's watching her not able to see the truth, making sure that she hasn't um, figured it out, so to speak. With the moon there in the card, it kind of tells me of secrets of this lover and their child, a baby, a young child. What's the devil? Yeah, Hierophant. They're married. Somebody's married there. Yeah. And it's not working. There's a lot of conflict and stuff at home. <clears throat> and that might be why <clears throat> this person was tempted to maybe give a cup to Mama Moo. Everything is fine. And it's like not letting anybody in her family know, yeah, of this love that's going on. Not everybody knows about it. What's this Two of Pentacles? Yeah. Somebody offered a cup. And maybe even to work with her. Maybe that is the working. She could be working with this person. And there's just a lot of conflict and chaos because of what's going on with their family. But I kind of feel like it's more there's the lover and the child um, that he's married to and they can't work it out or they're having issues. He's given her the cup here. And he's juggling her. Maybe giving her money, paying for something for her. Could be trying to take money from her. But he's left her out in the cold. She's a temperance angel. She could be a Capricorn, actually. I'm not sure. But she has made a lot of progress here. She's grounded. She's balanced. She's pouring into herself. She's ended this. What's the death card? She's figured this out. She knows. Yeah. This King of Cups. Yeah. And she's sad about it. Or this King of Cups is sad about it. With the death of that, she's ended that. What is the hang one? Yeah, judgment. So I kind of feel like this King of Cups is going to be stuck. He's not going to be able to move forward because Spirit is calling judgment on this. I kind of feel like this might be a divine love that's meant to happen here. Somebody could have gotten in the way. What's the moon with the secrets? Yeah. She did what she was supposed to do. She was supposed to move away from this deception. And she's healing. What's the healing card? The Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords? Yeah. Because she, she may have missed out on a really divine union here because of this person getting in the way. Now she's just going to have to manifest something new for herself or... Ah, well she does get a victory. Somebody is coming for her. Somebody with... Oh, recognition here. Oh, good thing it didn't fall on the floor. The sun, wow. This is somebody that's going to make her very happy. Yeah more healing here so I kind of feel like once she is healed she'll get her victory and her sunshine yeah and that's where someone else is going to come in for her with a, a love offer <laughs> somebody from the past who's single who walked away in the past who maybe was the wounded warrior who wants to give an offer. Wow, it's Santa Pentacles <laughs> coming in to fight for her. Look at that. And she might be a little reserved, but there's a tower here. And boom, they will be working together. <laughs> and this is a King of Pentacles. So he's got his own money, wants to work with her, 
Could be a divine union with the King and Queen of Swords here. <laughs> I like it. Wow, so Mama Moo, don't fret. Thing, good things are coming once you get past all this. Somebody from your past is going to come in. Might even be an emperor because they're able to go from the King of Pentacles to the King of Swords. So I kind of feel like he might even be an emperor that comes in. And I feel like it's possible, <laughs> I kind of feel like um, this could be uh, the Emperor healing, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity with her because of this person, and wants to have a victory with her as well, and once she's healed. And I kind of feel like with them both healing like this, it could be um, Empress, Emperor energy that uh, comes up. Maybe we'll do another reading eventually here. Let's see what's under here. Hierophant marriage. Waiting for her ships to come in. Her ten of cups. <laughs> wow. The king of wands. Yeah, somebody else might be in the mix here that ends up hurting her. That could be who this is, the King of Wands. No, that was the King of Cups. Okay. So this could be someone else that she has to have a life lesson with in between here to boss up. She'll do her work. And she may end up marrying this person, getting a divorce maybe, because it's too much of a burden. And that's when... Yeah, this person from the past comes in. Yeah, see, she she's the empress. And some justice happens. And there's the six of cups, someone from the past. <laughs> so it kind of tells me that things are going to work out just fine. She might have a couple more lessons to learn. Maybe he does. Um, but they eventually boss up. And I feel since she's showing up as the empress, that the Emperor is going to do the same. It might be what? Let's see, how long will it take before they get together? Seven, seven months, seven days, seven weeks. Did I already do this part already? I don't remember. In any case, let's see what we got for their love. No children soul animal ties so they might have animals that have a tie to one another so we'll do that one again soulmate romantic there we go i might have to take that soul animal out because um it's not really it's more to do with animals than it is a person and i put it in there i don't know why i put it in there but i put it in there so i might change that one um, what else can I do here? I'm going to do, oh, Spirit has a sign, 1111, so maybe look up that sign. Now, oh, for Mama Moo, moving on, life's journey, new endeavors, steady climb, and I kind of feel like that is what is going on here. She's moving away, she's healing, and another love comes in. Loyal and faithful, blessed with friends. Very nice. I kind of felt that she was blessed or has blessings. Sudden wealth. Think positive. Anything can happen. So I kind of felt like that with that um, King of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Pentacles coming out in behind it. She might have her own money as well. Tomorrow is a new day. So true. Stepping stones to a higher level of wisdom. And that is kind of exactly what I felt about bossing up into becoming, transforming into the Empress and the Emperor. For Mama Moo, please. Yes, somebody that has equality. Ah, she could be a leader of a pack. 
Maybe she has siblings or other people in her family that help her. Maybe she has a business. I don't know who Mama Moo is. Maybe she's a singer. Believe in you. Only you can do your best life. No one can do it for you. You only get one. And that is so true. The will to win. Leader success completion. And I kind of feel that that is exactly what she's going to accomplish if she hasn't already dreams the magician manifest her ideas isn't that funny because the manifester came out right here with the ma um with the magician what's on the bottom of the deck listen to what they want hmm so i kind of feel like with it being somebody from the past that it's possible that whoever she is waiting for here for her emperor I kind of feel like uh, it's good for her to listen to him and not shut him out and not be um, susceptible to forgiving, right? So I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to donate to the channel, it's down below in the description box. Just click the link and it'll pop down and there's a PayPal link in there that you can donate to. I appreciate each and every one of you and we'll see you next time. Later!